Hello and welcome to another Sativica.com video. Today we're making a force scale, otherwise known as a Newton scale. Starting with the waistband from a pair of basketball shorts, boxers, swim trunks, anything with an elastic waistline should have this white strip right here. Cut the edge off. This rubber string inside is what we need. Don't pull on this. Instead, pull the thread next to the rubber string and it will easily pull apart. Okay, getting that was the hard part. Now we need two straws, one small enough to fit inside of the other and slide freely and four binder clips to make our scale. Cut the straws to about half the size of a pencil. Starting with the bigger straw, feed the rubber string through. And pinch the end. Be sure to position the string in the middle of the straw and secure it with a binder clip. Repeat the process with the small straw. Don't pull on the straw at all while attaching the second binder clip. There should be no tension on it at all at this point. Cut any excess string. You need something that stretches more than most rubber bands for this project. Another thing that works is the elastic from a pack of raw papers. And that's the working part of the scale. We're going to add one more binder clip to each side though to make it easier to use. So simply add a binder clip to each end as shown. This way you can clip and hang the scale while calibrating. Hang the scale by the big straw side and with a pen mark how low the small straw is pulled down by the weight. We calibrate using U.S. currency. Any bill weighs one gram, so clip it and wait for the scale to settle and carefully mark with a pen. Pennies after 1982 weigh 2.5 grams. Add a bill of any denomination and that's 3.5 grams, which is an eighth ounce, roughly a $50 street value. A nickel weighs 5 grams. Add two bills to that and that's 7 grams, which is a quarter ounce, roughly a $100 street value. Another way to make your marks is to use the pen like kind of a pointer, and then you can pull two and make the mark darker. Now let's see if it works and if everything I just calibrated stays true. Well, that was cool. Thanks for watching. Come check out sativica.com.